between Crown and Cannonball, and like the Cannonball with Wonderbust like doesn't doesn't hit people often, but when it does, it woo! Excellent. Let's see how this goes. One on nine to zero. It's gonna be a hit. Honestly, this is less of a game of damage and more of a game of stocks, because K. Roll can get a stock just right oh! here, like that. Oh! <laughs> oh Jesus. Jesus Christ! It works, but once you have to start coming back, then uh, you're left a little open there. Yeah. There's not much K. Roll can do, like in general, though. Yes, very to correct. The air confirms it. And that down air. I'm not going to tell you guys my dorm room. Oh, and Brujo, all of a sudden, bringing it right back. I knew it. Uh, no, North America. No, Kirby Kid slightly nope. better. But I think Kirby Kid is on the come up. And we're going to see that shield break. Does Kirby Kid do that? No. You're right. You're right. Brujo on the go. Bru oh, Indeed. and he's lost the crowd. Yeah. That's. It's not even that he's lost the crown, it's that Apple Review can use the crown, does get it back. But that crown is maybe the best, like, item projectile. It is. It is. And Bruho answers right back with a back air. Oh my goodness. He's Apple Reviewer, neutral beat, armors through it, and uh, will kill him with that back air. Nene, oh, the back he air, he's dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. So going for the down throw is right. It's just a really good play from Brujo to be able to get out of that berry. But it didn't matter because that spike just was an incredible play by Seth. Now yeah. we're going to see seeing a game number two. Yes, sir. And we're going to start off with just a nice little crowd. Oh, my God! <laughs> Not able to get the finisher with the forward throw on the gyro, leading Brujo off stage. Brujo now having center saves. It's going to be a good position for him. The neutral air into dash back is going to confirm. Oh, both these players just looking for something to throw out their projectiles whenever they can. Nice little fair to get him off stage. This is where Brujo shines the best. Can we see him edge guard the Rob? Ooh. Yes, we can! Uh, Brujo with a full stock lead now. And he's really getting hit by these crowns. That was close. Yeah. And I think he's. Oh no, he saved he the jump! He had his jump. And now Brujo at light. Whoa. That was so good. <laughs> oh, he lived. Not gonna kill. I feel like he could've gone into an F smash of some sort. Oh, damn. Well, that'll work. If you're not precise with it, then Kuro can definitely take advantage of those openings and kill you really early for it. But you know, these guys also play a lot, so I think Kuro, you know, being the stronger player overall, is definitely more familiar with a lot of these habits and how to exploit them. So I kind of see this going. It's just kind of happening right now, yeah. Like just mauling him and gets what happened in game one. I definitely, you know, it makes yeah, sense it why was you would very try to dominant. Unfortunately, I don't really know like what. Happens in their sets. Besides, I can assume they play a lot, and I think Brujo wins them majority of the time. Not always, but some unfortunate stuff there. Brujo kind of needed been to five the game. Been, been five years, still happens to people, man. Oh, oh nice no. grab with it. Okay. He's trying to kill him. He tried, yeah. and he tries to get the blunder bus as well. He's still off. Like, <laughs> They've been really good about going back and forth here. Like even like percent disparities, like he's just going back and forth. Ooh, the triple fair, almost getting that back air confirm off stage too. He's got the top. Oh, and the hard read, and it killed. Game. I mean, the Whirlpool's kind of running away with this game. Uh, Sets far from over, but Whirlpool's getting trapped in these free throws. Oh, I don't need Smash R, right? I got you wasted all your tools. You did a few up airs already to burn your jump. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be the just oh, not enough hits done, yeah. and he took so much. He took so much from that. Sounds like a Kazuya three piece. Yeah, oh, no that's... jump off stage. It's gonna hurt him. Okay, gets back though. That's huge for Virgo. I think that's a jump again though. Is he gonna go up in there? No, he's getting a little greedy. Oh my god! It doesn't matter. And Virgo's not able to do like B reverses, uh, like kind of moving through them, moving around them, yeah. and, it, and it really it makes this game very uh, not predictable, but kind of more more linear. linear yeah. There's still room for creativity. Nice oh, He's done a lot of those, but he has to to just avoid that down air by Bruja. Oh, that's big damage. Oh, he had the read. And that's just a great stock there by Brujo. A ton of time and effort. So please, if you are in the chat, if you could just, just do a quick little shout out to the TOs. 
thank him. I would appreciate it. Um, I know who we should be shouting out. These four dares from Brujo immediately doing more damage. Now we're even at 68% apiece. Yeah, both of them at 68. Honestly, what the heck? Oh, what the hell? Why did that crown kill? That is, there's no, 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 no. I've never seen a crown kill off the top. That was the, I don't know if that was just bad DR. You just died. I, 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 all right, I'm, I'm done. We have oh, and the back air too. And we're going to see another back air. A double back air into a spike. There's no way, bro. You this got to stop doing this. You are up three stops to one. This, this is why he is the best K-Roll in the world. No, I'm being This is why he killed. So incredibly early. Especially on Smash Cards, right? Like With the charge, yeah. Virgo looking for the down air, not getting it. Brujo trying to take some space. Oh, the grab box there. Big, bigger than Shulk. Uh -huh. Okay now. A rough. Oh. Great pressure. Oh. oh. Imagine. <laughs> that would have been very be raw. Very funny. He played Bowser one game versus Unleashed Tiger shit. Uh, it was Exiled or? Yeah. yeah. And he went mid-mid the other two. Ooh, I like that down smash read, and all of a sudden, Bruho's back in this. So the crown exactly. kind of checkmated him. He's now, now he's starting to get caught by Crown in a few more predictable situations. Like, Crown from ledge has been getting good number one. Oh, he gets the slide off, DI. <laughs> yep. Ooh, yep. Big yeah. damage on the returning Crown, and that's and gonna kill. An early kill for Bruho with that rage. Dude, I've been doing that all the time. Like, I just like you picking up random stuff and just like messing with it. I found a fidget spinner in the office today. I was like, oh my god. Oh hell yeah. And right now, zero to sixty-two. Zero to sixty-two. Oh my god. If he married there, that probably would have been a stop. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I feel like brevity is like respecting him too much. Like, just run up and fucking grab him. Though. You know uh, I mean? probably. Yeah. I feel like every time he gets in, though, he gets like. He's doing very good at playing anti-grab. Like he's yeah. jumping a lot. He's like staying out of a grab range. That's it. Holy shit! Vidar again. Play some neutral faster. I guess, especially against a slower character K rule. Stepping over the D tilt. We're seeing mm -hmm. they're gonna be, have to take a bit to get used to each other's neutral. Yep. Both the characters are uncommon, and both the skill levels are. Uncommon. Whoa! Oh my god! I Virgo at 102 percent in 20 seconds. I didn't even see it happen. That's that fast. very dead. That's death, right? Yep. Shield art isn't gonna save you there. So. Yep, good tech chase on the top platform. Taking a lot of percent here. Now Brujo's mashing. <laughs> now he's just mashing. Yeah, definitely just trying to look for an option that Ken was just trying to go in, but yep. obviously... There's um, the young player habit coming in, just mashing at <laughs> ledge. <laughs> hey, it works sometimes. It does work. What are we going to see? No edge good guard recovery. A roll. Surprised he didn't just fall off Nair there. That's what I was thinking too. Like, he definitely had the ability to just kind of do it. Oh, oh the good absolute. counter.